young youth because school together, I think Babylon, you know, some of them die, some of them get shipped back to Jamaica. When they come here, in a great opportunity before them. And you know what? They blow that opportunity. Yes. They messed up. And some of them, we walk around blaming others, but some of them we have to blame ourselves. Right. Pray to somebody. Yes. I could blow that opportunity just like anybody else. I was, uh, I know this young man when I was in Jamaica, you know, we go to school together, he was very smart, he used to be teach, a teacher. But then you know, he come in this country, I know he was working good, a good, great education, but he ended up was doing uh, this in the fast truck. He get into the fast lane. And uh, you know, I'm not gonna explain, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you know, that young man, they caught him, and he spent time in jail there. And when they finished, they, they, he was just his clothes and his back. They shipped him back to Jamaica, take away his passport, everything. Mm. And when I go along there, I see that young man was walking bare feet. His hands was ripped, and he was going around telling people. So the life that he lived in now, he wrote a, he wished that he was in prison in America than the state that he lived in now in Jamaica. He wished he was in prison than the state that he lived in. Jamaica is a beautiful place. I was there, I was in a poor man country. But you know what? I see myself as rich. Amen. Because I know the Lord. Amen. I know we have a plan for me. Praise God. But I can go back to bring hope to somebody. Yes, I can go back, praise God, with the gospel yes, yes. to somebody yes. to tell them that there is hope. Yes. Praise God. Yes. There is hope for them. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And the word of God read that this is Jeremiah. 29 says, This is what the Lord said. When seven years are complete for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my gracious promise to bring you back to this place. For I know the plan that I have for you. Declare, said the Lord, a plan to prosper you. Not to harm you, a plan to gain you a hope and a future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will, I will attend to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Right. I will be found by you, declare to the Lord and will bring you back from captivity. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. God is able this morning. No matter what the state that you are in this morning, you might be into a a crippling of stress and turmoil, and worry, and the care of life seem to get at you. But God's word can bring you comfort this morning. Right. In the place that you are, God's word can bring you life this morning. Oh, of a dead generation, God can speak a word and life comes into that generation. Amen. Praise the name. He knows what's best for you. He knows what's best for me. He has a plan for you. And he has a plan for me. Who knows best but our maker?
so often, tell a story that if you have a watch and the watch break, you bring it to the watchman. If your car breaks down, you bring it to the dealer of the car, the mechanic, to fix that car. Then God made us in his own image and likeness. He knows everything about us. Praise God. He knows our body. What oh, your doctor know your body. God gives the doctor wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding. Praise God. But who know me best than the Lord? Who know you best than the Lord? I know first lady that you know, Bishop, you know every move. And you coming and going off. Praise the name. But God know best. Amen. Praise the name. Amen. I might not know everything about my wife. Not even know everything about me. Not that I'm hiding something. But God know me best. Yes, he does. God know my wife best. Yes. What the word of God is clear, I know the plan that I have for you. Be clear in the Lord. Yes. Praise the name. A plan to give you a hope and a future. Praise the name. We may live in the present, not in the past. Praise God. For the future, may I the Lord, not tell you don't make plans for the future. I'm looking at my time. I just have a birthday. And I said, time is going. I can't believe I'm 54. And I said, time is going. And I'm I'm getting to the mark. Praise God. Can God use me? Am I too old for the Lord? Praise God. What I'm saying that God said, you are not too old. Praise God. Can anything too hard for the Lord? Praise the name. We work our job on time. Praise God. And we come to the place. Then the boss man said, I'm not able to use you anymore. I have to get somebody that more stronger can do the job. But not so with God. Praise the God don't kick you to the curb. He don't turn his back up on you. Praise the man. Hallelujah. In the whole age, he may just still bring forth truth. Praise the name. God can use you. Praise the name. Don't give up on yourself. Because God don't give up on you. Amen. Somebody praise him this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He has a plan and a purpose. He know what best for you. He know what best for me. Joe said he know the way that I take. And when he should try me, I shall come forth as pure gold. Praise the man. I say he know what best for you. Praise the man. Don't look at yourself and talk. You don't use yourself before the Lord. God can use you. Amen. I said God can use you. I know the plan I have for you to clear the Lord. A plan to prosper you and not to harm you. God is about to harm you. God is about to bless you. Praise the name. Praise the name. Praise the name. I said God is about to bless you. Praise God. He have a plan and purpose for you. He want to put you. Praise God. In this plan and show you marvelous things. Wonderful things. That he have for you. The word of God says, How is my team? Now I hear her. Now I hinder the heart of men. The things that the Lord has done for them that love him. Somebody praise him. He know what best for you. He know what best for you. Amen. Say God has so much for you. We have no, we have no idea. We look for crumbs under the table. But he has prepared a feast for us in the royal banquet. All we want to 
and he remain who we are. He has been calling our name. We wait for him to notice our pivot. He waits for us to take his hand. We see ourselves in the dark because we, we do not sometimes we sometimes wrong. He see us in the light because we are doing something right. He move powerful at our request. We do not even recognize the answer to our own prayer sometimes. Somebody praise the Lord. He loves us. Him. He loves us so much. I said he loved us so much. I was at my job one day and I was painting, singing my song as usual. And this lady came up, heard the song, I said the song I was singing, touch, touch her. And she came up, was telling me uh, her problem that he was going through a divorce with his husband. And I dropped my stuff in. I said, can I pray with you? That God was going to bring back your husband yeah. and your family. And I prayed with her. I mean, it was two weeks. I was going for lunch. And I thought the lady, a uh, gentleman was walking. And he came up to me and said, this was a prayer that you prayed. This was the prayer that you prayed. That God restore back our relationship. Yeah. And not only that, we bring back, I said, we can bring back our other children. I said, God, pray that I bring back my children. I said, what the enemy mean for good? Mean for evil. God, restore it. God, turn it for good. Praise the name. The devil is the liar thing. The devil is the people. Praise the name. You might be in a place this morning that you go to. When I know a God that he earned this prayer thing. I know a God who cares and love. Praise the name. I know a God that concerned. You say, God so loved us. We have no idea from them. We look for crumbs on the table. But he has prepared a banquet for us. Praise the name. The woman that came into Jesus. And Jesus said to her, said a word, and sometimes we get offended over something. But I've listened to that woman when she said in that to take the children bread first and give it to the dog. What is the yay Lord? Even the dog. The scum that fell from the master table. And Jesus turned to that woman and said, Woman, great is your faith. Great is your faith. He said the woman, go back home. Your daughter has been cured. Somebody praise him this morning. Praise the name. Praise the name. So Jesus can speak a word. In your circumstances, in your situation, you're going to. And things change. Praise the name. He can speak one word. Praise God. And the enemy. Have to back that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The devil has no power over God's people. Pray to me. Because I know a God who I serve. He does not hear my family apart. That's right. Pray to God. I know a God who cares. So that we sit back. <clears throat> Too much under the enemy, one round pile. When we should bow down on our knees, 
the Lord. Hallelujah. He have a plan for you this morning. He have a purpose for your life this morning. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to use you, to use me, to take you to another level, to take me to another level. Praise the man. Praise the man. You plan the church. Praise God. To go to Jamaica. Yeah. I know one is coming in Africa. I thank God. We have one year. We have even one year to see what God is doing in Africa. Praise the name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. But I know. Praise God. That God is able. Yes. Praise God. Here is another path. The word that the God has not given unto us a spirit of fear. But a power and a love and a patron mind. Praise the name. Many of them are messed up. Lost their mind. Praise the name. But I can bring God's word to them. Their lonely mind, their broken heart. So I can speak a word of comfort. Praise the name. Hallelujah. Many spend their lifetime. I'll wait at the doctor and thank God for doctor. Praise the name. But the first thing that happened, sometimes we don't quit to see God and to pray. Praise the name. Yes, he gave us doctor. Praise God. And we go to them. Praise God. We don't have a problem and share to them. But sometimes the doctor himself has his own problem. Praise the name. The doctor sometimes has his own issue. Amen. Praise the name. Hallelujah. But I know I got to this morning. Right. Praise the name. I know Jesus this morning. Praise the name. The thing that take your burden to the Lord and leave them there. If your body suffer pain and your health you can't regain, just remember this morning. Hallelujah. And you can call on Jesus. Praise the name. You can look to Jesus. Praise the name. You can take refuge in Jesus. Right. You can trust in Jesus. Right. You can pray to Jesus. Right. Hallelujah. Yes. He's able this morning. Yes. He knows the plan for your life. He knows the plan for my life. He knows what's best for us this morning. Amen. Praise God. Sometimes I didn't know what's best for me. But I know, I didn't know what best. I can go to him and say, Lord, you know what best for me. Praise God. But you know what best for me. Praise God. You don't show us everything. He give us a little glimpse sometimes. Praise God. But I know he shows us. He speaks with us. Praise God. He's able. That's the God of the church thing. He, he's able. Somebody said he's able. He's able. He's able. To do what he said he would do. Yeah. He instructed us, and when we have, he sometimes never expected, but more of the time, he do not give us anything more than the answer. That our future is insecure in his hand. Praise God. I'm not worried about the future. Do I know the future? Praise God. Not that we don't make preparation and plan. Save fun for your children education, which we see happen today. Praise God. But sometimes people take it to the extreme. Praise God. They worry over so much till their mind gets messed up. Yeah. Praise God. I'm not worried, but I'm trusting the Lord yeah. mm-hmm. to know that He will take care of me. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the name. We have to trust in the Lord thing. Yeah. I'm not saying that go and make preparation, go make plans. We make, you know, we save for fun and vacation and uh, for college, education, you know. He gave us the 
understand the wisdom to do those things. But I'm saying, when you make it, those plan of preparation, don't make them without God. Amen. Praise God. Don't make your plan without God. When you put God first, praise God. I know He will take care of you. Yes, he will. Praise God. Let us put Him first. Because He you knows what best for us. I know the plan that I have for you, said the Lord. Praise God. I don't know what plan God I think will let you show me. Praise God. You might be known, it can show you what plan that you have for me. But who knows best? But God. He knows best. And I know that He knows the plan that He has for you this morning. Praise God. And He's able to bring it. Praise God. He's not a man that he will lie. Me and it's not a man that he will repent. Praise God. Some good things that means go over your life. Praise God. Some good words that means go over this place. Praise God. Praise God. We come through this place. Praise God. The word of God the vision and carry. But wait on it. It shall surely come to pass. At the end, it will come to pass. It will show for Praise God. We have for a goal and dream and vision. Praise God. But we have to consult, consult the Lord. Don't make plans. We don't consult the Lord. Amen. Praise God. He knows what best for us. He knows what best for us. Say the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will gain grace and glory that no good thing will he withhold from them that walk upright. That no good thing he will withhold from you. God, he loves us. Praise the name. Just I know you love your kids. Praise God, you want the best for them. Praise God, you want to give them an education. Praise God. You want to give them something that works by. Praise God. But the best thing that we can give them that will remain is give them Jesus. Praise the name. Praise the name. Praise the name. You might give them a good car. Give them a good home to live in. Praise the name. Give them a good education. Praise the name. But I will give them Jesus. I will give them Jesus. Praise the name. When everything else fails, but I'm saying this morning that Jesus never fails. Praise the name. There is this song. I can recall that my mother used to sing to me when I was a child. There is scripture that he used to read to me when I was a child. I know a scripture still remains. Hallelujah. Praise the name. Praise the name. We can give them Jesus. Do not worry. About tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about its own thing. Uh-huh. Sufficient for this day is of its own trouble. Yeah. <clears throat> I tell it day of its own trouble. So don't worry about it. Praise God. Leave it in the hands of the Lord. Yeah. Leave it to Jesus. Yeah. Romans 8 18. For I consider the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him this morning. Yes. Hallelujah. You might be going through, but the word of God said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. And those that so in tears will reap in joy. Hallelujah. Praise the name. The harvest is coming. Praise God. You are being tired. You are being working. Praise the name. When the harvest is coming. Praise God. The harvest is coming. For I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to come here with God's glory. That shall reveal, you know, somebody praise him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's coming back safe. Praise God. He has a plan and a purpose 
for our life. He knows what's best for us. I know the plan I have for you, declares the Lord. A plan to prosper you and not to harm you. A plan to give you a hope and a future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me. And I will listen to your cry. Praise the Lord. Don't believe that the Lord don't hear a cry. He said before you call, he will answer. Praise the name. God will hear your cry. That the loving God that we serve, see. He loves us with an everlasting love. Praise God. The word of God said, if you draw a man to him, he will draw a man to you. And if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Praise God. Don't give up on him. Because he will never give up on you. Praise God. Stay with the Lord. Stay with the Lord. Serve him. Live for Jesus. Praise God. Nothing that you do for Jesus will go and know him. Praise God. He knows what's best for you. He knows what's best for me. Praise God. He can turn the sorrow into joy. You midnight in the day. Pray God. He can turn it around. I know he's turning it around. Pray God. You cry out to him. Praise the Lord, somebody. Pray. Pray God. Coming down to the end. Oh Lord, I know that the way of men is not in himself. It is not in men who who walk to who walk to do the desire his own self. That is in Jeremiah 10, 23. Oh Lord, I know the way of men is not in himself. It is not in men who walk to direct his own step. He know what best for you. He know your step. Joseph said, he know the part that I take. And when he shall try me, I shall come forth as pure gold. He know what best for you. And he will show me the part of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. Not your right hand. There are pleasures forevermore. And we be named you for a night. But joy will come in the morning. Somebody pray to him this morning. We be named you for a night. But joy will come in the morning. A man in art plan his way. But the Lord direct his step. For he know what's best for you. He know what's best for me. We don't debark over our whole life. You want to be the boss. Let him be the boss of your life. Amen. Praise the name. Let him be the boss of your life. Then come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his way, and we shall walk in his part. And in my thoughts, for two. Come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Israel. Praise God. We thank God for this place, for this house. Amen. Praise God. Whenever time we come, God leads us. When the scripture says, let us go up to the house of the Lord. He will teach us his way. Do you want to learn the way of the Lord? Praise God. Praise God. Do you want to learn his ways? His ways, they are good. His ways, they are right. His ways, they are perfect. Praise his name. Praise him, somebody. His ways are just. His ways are holy. His ways are good. Praise his name. Praise his name, somebody. Praise him, somebody. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's able this morning. Amen. He's able this morning. 
I want to do something. Praise God. Well, I'm closing. I know that God knows what best. And sometimes we're in a place and we don't know good that place. Then we say, no, we move to our other place and believe that place is going to be better than this place. But as the word of God says, tomorrow we own trouble. Praise God. And when I started my job, I was working here and I thought this place is a bad place. And uh, not because of the people, but I was working with this guy and he was giving me a hard time. Uh-huh. And I said, oh, you know, this place, God, I don't want to stay here. But God spoke to my heart one day, I was coming to work, I didn't want to go in. And then I shared my wife. I know my wife said, bring up, the Lord said, bring up me at 99. I bring my high away early in the morning and I pray over the area that there was talking bad things and you know and and those you know you know talking bad about you know the hospital but anyway I prayed and the same guy that was you know giving me a hard time whenever I tell somebody what I pray for like you know that's in my heart I pray I said Lord if you want me to say it then you have to do something you know then you know I'm I'm gonna give my notice but you know just a week they call a meeting in the office, and I don't know what about the need. When I go in here, you know what? I was I feel so bad, but sometimes God works. Sometimes answer your prayer. Sometimes you don't even know how fast how God can answer your prayer. But, but I before I said that, I, I said something to my boss about that someone would give me a hard time. My boss said to me, "You yeah, must punch him." So my boss said, "If he give me a hard time, punch him in the face." I said, "No, I'm not going to do that." <laughs> <laughs> I said, I pray, bring my advice. They call me. Same guy that would give me our time. I find what's going on through that door. I never touch him. I mean, I never go, I feel bad that they, 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 uh, they let him go. Mm. Oh, you see what God can do? Yes. Let God fight the battle thing. Yes, he can. You know? You know, I could get a fool and go and punch him. You know? Then I'm not, I'm a Christian, I'm punching somebody. You know? <laughs> no, no, praise God. But I let God fight my battle. I let God fight my battle. No, I, when I believe that one of my days, when I walk in, when I walk in on my job, you know, I come and believe I own that hospital. You know, I have a key mostly for every door on that day. I was passing some door that was passing every day, like for the shadow in the hospital. Then I was passing one day and someone like a voice says, you know, like take one of the key and try the door. When I Turn the key, the door open. They say sometimes you, you know, see, sometimes you have something in your hand. I need know what, <laughs> what you have in your hand, you know. Yeah. But that, that door was passing that I couldn't go through. I have a key for it. I need to know. We just we just messed up with the, the airplane. He was on the airplane and he was eating peanut when the tape was hammered. <laughs> you know, but sometimes we can you know play and believe. But thank God for this place. Yeah. I don't know anything about the other place. But thank God for this place. Yeah. Praise God. Thank God. But this place, and God, we just say God's people is the greatest people on earth. But I want to, I'm coming to close, and before we close, we do something. We shall, I, I bury my mother and my father. And uh, when I heard the news that my father passed, and you were the first official, I come up and put something in the coffin place. You always talk about the twin sister. Praise God. I know funerals and stuff come. Because I go down to Jamaica and see. And uh, when I go to the funeral place, I look at the sign. And the lady, you know, I feel my pocket. The lady said, Mr. Trust died. <laughs> so, so the lady tell me that Mr. Trust died. You know, and then what's going on to tell me that. Uh, I believe uh, if uh, somebody 
they love when they come to bury when he, he prays them. You know? And he takes the person first and the person never pay. He took off whatever he took off, he stayed that right when he never pay. So when he saw me, he was saying this, I trust them. <laughs> Praise God. So well uh, I want to do something, uh Bishop, I know that those things get spent. Praise God, but uh, let us stand on our feet and we're going to take a look at our friend, Bishop Jesus, the pastor. We always talk about Jesus, I don't know. Praise God, but uh, what I think that I put in my heart to do this, and I want to take a look at our friend, Praise God, when, when my mother and father died, you were the first one that was step up to the place. Praise God, but I thank God, thank God, no. Bishop, thank God, people are the greatest people ever. We don't live in this place. Praise God, but God, give us love for one another. Praise God, and we have to trust the Lord. God, they have to serve God knows what's best for us. He knows the plan that, that He has for us. A plan, praise God, to give you a hope and a future. Praise God. A plan to bless you and not harm you. He's about to bless you. Praise God. He's about, praise God. Praise God. Just to bless the riches. Praise God. When we give for the cost of Christ for God's people. Praise God. Remember that give up. Us money are given after me, but you can give us so much things in different ways that he gives us. Praise God. I said, Praise God, when I walk uh, at my job and the, 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 the respect that uh, no, I go to work. Uh, and even, I'm the painter there in the hospital, but you know what? When I go to work, and even, I choose my own place to paint. You know, they you know, they didn't know that. You know, whatever, where I want to go and paint, I paint. You know? So, I'm just saying there's a big party going on there after this week. But you know, they don't come and check on the work, or they know whatever it is, they said they do, they, they, you know, they know everything. You know, but it's the love that they show me that place, and they have, the respect that they have for me. Praise God. So, you know, I told God it was, so the place that I thought it was a bad place, it was God's turn. Because yeah, it's a wonderful place. <laughs> no, pray, pray God. But well, you know, when the people are always saying, uh, when I tell that guy that I was going back to Jamaica, the pastor said, no, don't go. You know, he said, he showed me a, a, a place of the after, he wanted me to stay good. I could stay here and do a church. I said, no, that's it. God has put in my heart to stay here. Praise God. But well, it's a good place. And you know what? Not because it's a good place, because I work here. So it's a good place. You work at a job, it can be a good place. Because you work here. And you know somebody that knows everybody. Praise God. And you know Jesus Christ. And you make a difference in your life. Praise God. We have to play. So we're going to take up offering. Praise God for Bishop this morning. Praise God. So.
on the service to Bishop. I thank you, praise God. Hope you learned something from this. That God is able. We're going somewhere wherever I go. But we're going somewhere. We're going to another level. Praise God. Thank you, Bishop. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Messenger, the messenger. Good to be in the house of the Lord. God's people are the greatest people on earth. Glad to be a part of the family of God. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, we 
come before your presence. Lord. We talk to them all dependent upon you. We bless this precious family in the name of Jesus. Most of all these children, Lord. You said, suffer those children to come to me and forbid them not. For such is the kingdom of heaven. And we bless them today in the name of Jesus. We come against all the diseases, yes, AIDS, and all the things that are not like Jesus Christ. We ask you, Father, come in with your blood. Let your friends and the family gather around this precious family. Lead and guide them in their record. We'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
speak to the Creator and say, I am mad at you? Oh, but you think you're, oh, that's right. For if He were to speak to you, He will say to you, and all times He does, Who are you that you should accuse me? God. Why should it not happen to you? And when you think about it, I've been there. I never shook my fist at God or accused God. But I did feel that life had given me a lot of trouble, and it had. And I took my petition to the Lord. And I felt like life has been unfair. And he said to me, would you have this happen to someone else? And the pain that I felt all the emotions that I felt. No, Lord, no, no. I would not want this to happen to anyone else. So his instructions to me were, pray for those who know not to pray, that are in the same condition that you are. And I'm not alone. The devil will tell you you're alone. No one but you feels this. No one's been in this place in life but you. And he is a liar because he knows that there are a multitude that are in the same place that you are. The very same place. And some are worse off than you are. You just don't know who they are. And if you will pray for them, take your eyes from yourself and put your eyes upon whosoever should be in need of prayer, then a blessing will come. But then after he gave me those instructions, he began to speak to me. He said he'd be quiet for a little while. He was silent for a little while. And then he began to show me my blessings, which were humongous, huge. And then I said, I, mean, I was reduced to dust what I am. I said, well, who am I that you should bless so greatly? Who am I? I don't deserve all this goodness, all these blessings. How you bless me all my life and all my difficulties. You were there. I am here and I can stand and I can speak of the goodness and the grace and the glory of God. Oh, I had to give him praise. He had me running through my house to see the various things he wanted me to see. And then he said to me, these blessings that you see and that you're now so very great, I forgot about them for a minute. They didn't mean anything to me. It's as if the world stood still. Beauty all around me. But it didn't mean anything at all. But then, bing! I was in slow motion or still motion. But bing! I came back to life, so to speak. And I was ever so humble. Ever so grateful, so grateful, so grateful, so grateful. And then he spoke to me, he said, I have blessed you and I've given you these things for your tears, for your prayers, for the things you've gone through in your life and the things you will go through. Oh, the things are not over. But I show you that I am a good God. I am a gracious Father. I love you so much. And this is nothing. He shows me my ring. He said, look at your ring. He says, your engagement ring has the largest stone. I said, yes, that's true. He said, that's a promise. He says, your wedding band has a smaller stone. But that's confirmation that marriage has come. So he was saying to me, the things I have done for you and I am doing for you at this point in time, this very day, is fulfillment of a promise. Amen? Amen. Yes. Fulfillment of a promise. So as coming into the promised land and we call uh, wherever it was God was sending us, we knew it was north, the promised land. So you will get to the promised land. And things will be consummated. My purpose and my plan that I have shown to you will be fulfilled. Amen. And look, 
and let the children live. For the children are not like the devil. They're not. They may have a nature sometimes really bad, but they're not like the devil. And children are from God. Only God is like only God really has the right to take a life. And for me, I'm having two babies and a great grandchild. How about that? October the 25th, we had our 25th grandchild. Katrina is expected to show him as number 26 this year. My daughter, Nadina, is expected she'll give me number 27 this year. Amen. So, I I also stop to talk to her about kids like you. Well, that's not true. I just have all the kids that I'm going to have. And uh, I have no problem with that. I'm sure she does have a problem with that. I'm not accusing you. Not at all. You have to do what God will tell you to do. If you make a mistake and you leave the place you did well, you may be surprised when you get there. He says, you know, I only have one child for you. He says, I didn't have any kids for you. What? All that aggravation? All that money? All that stress? Oh. Oh, well. We'll find out that that chapter when we get there. Amen. Don't stress it. Don't stress it. But don't encourage anyone not to have children or to avoid your children. The government will help you kill your child. The government will pay for you to kill your child. But they won't give you money for buying everyday shoes and clothes and things and keep life going on. Now that is the tool of the enemy. For the enemy has you. If you read the scripture, has always cut off the children. Always cut off the children. If all the children are cut off, who's going to take care of you when you get old? <coughs> you kill them, you know. What you going to do? Don't bother yourself. Bless the Lord's story for another day. However, we need some houses. All of my children that are having children have another name. We have in our family no hogs. We need some boys. <laughs> we need some men. And I have four sons. So I'm not putting pressure on anyone. <laughs> I appreciate your prayers. Lord, hear our prayer and give us some you can have twins or triplets, I don't know. Just to avoid pregnancy, that's fine. <laughs> Reach out and touch somebody. Yes. Praise the Lord. Um, a couple of announcements. Um, in regards to our bishop's 80th birthday that's coming up in June, um, we're going to be at the Dollar Tree Hotel. And for adults, it's six. Oh, Double Tree, thank you. for adults and $32 for children under 12 years old. If you would like to start paying now, you can give their money to Sister Jeanette White. Amen. 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 correction. Yes. Because we have not heard much of anyone in our church family, or maybe not at all, I will try to see each and every one of you individually just to offer you a different offer, okay? I have spoken to mom about it. She has agreed. We don't want to miss out on giving our bishop the honor that is due on to him. Amen. So we will do everything possible to have each and every one of you there, okay? So if you're here after service, I will take the time to speak to whomever I can but I, I want each and every one of you to take the opportunity to just save that date. Save the date. For the Lord says, and this is written, we give honor 
So where honor is due. Amen. And, and just save your date. And I'll try to see each and every one of you individually, okay? Amen. Be in prayer. God bless you. We love you, Bishop. God bless you. Would it be better if you would be having some people right here? Yeah. And those who don't come to see you. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, Mom. Thank you. That would be good. Yes, um, last week, um, for those that were here, my mother made an announcement how she felt that her great grandson was um, has come into the world. But now, as you mentioned, um, now her great grandson has left to go be with the Lord. Um, the funeral will be on next Saturday at 2 o'clock. That's two o'clock on um, 14 Highland Street in Lowell, Massachusetts. So all who can see something. Support us. Yes, come and support us. All right, praise the Lord. The food pantry is going to be on the last Saturday of the month, this month, because on the last Sunday it falls on uh, Palm Sunday. All those who are volunteering, please meet me out here Wednesday night so we can start the show and pray and discuss some things at 6 30 this Wednesday. Thank you. Our online community. Online security. We're going to reach out and pray for my Make it this world a better place with the help of God. Reach out and Thank you. 
Thank you. 